Hello Unlimited Friends, it's Sarah back again with another question about the application of Law of Attraction to our lives from one of our viewers. Her name is Sherry and I'm going to read out her question. She says, I have a few major negative beliefs that I've been influenced by all through my childhood years. I'm working to change my thoughts, but I'm worried about attracting what I don't want while working on my changes in thinking. Any suggestions? on specific ways to change old thought patterns quickly to avoid the momentum of the old bad ones from building up. All right. So, um, Sherry, thank you for your question. I want to share three tools with you today that are absolutely going to give you what you want and are going to just absolutely lead to a change in um, the way you approach everything in life and it's you're just going to get so many amazing results very quickly this stuff works like magic I have used it myself and I teach it to my one-on-one -on -one coaching clients as well as in my programs and I can tell you that the exercises that I'm going to share with you here today will absolutely change your life all right First, before I jump into it, let me tell you a little bit about myself. So for those of you who are returning to my channel, thank you for supporting my work. For those of you who are new, welcome. My name is Zara. I write the blog zmahoon.com and I'm the author of 12 books on the subject of the law of attraction. On this channel, I want to make law of attraction easy and simple for you to apply to your life and the way this works is I like to answer questions from you. So if you have a question about Law of Attraction, you can comment below with your question or send me an email through my website which is referenced below zmahoon.com. All right, let's get into the answer to Sherry's brilliant question. What I want to say first of all is Sherry, all of us have have negative beliefs that we acquired in our childhood and it's totally all right. You see, some of the things that I want you to understand is that, first of all, Abraham says that there is nothing at all that we cannot change. Everything that you want is possible and you have to believe it. And so if you want to change your beliefs, that is absolutely possible. And if you want to do it quickly, that is also absolutely possible. Every desire is answered and every desire can be manifested almost immediately. I want you to understand that your past only affects your future if you think that it will. And it only happens if you keep going back and revisiting the past. So your past beliefs do not have a hold on you if you start living life through your new beliefs. Every time you have to think about something or every time you have to make a decision or every time you need to take action, you've got to lay the foundation of your new beliefs before you do any of that. How do you do that? By pre-paving it. Prepaving is an exercise that Abraham teaches us over and over again and I tell you it has changed my life. So what you do is you prepave anything that you're going to do and most certainly prepave your day. Tell yourself how you want to behave during the day based on your new belief system. What is your new belief system? Your new belief system is that you want to be good to yourself and others. Your new belief system is that all things are possible. Your new belief system is that source will guide you to whatever you need. Those are your new belief systems. Your new belief system is that you're going to be good to yourself and others. You're going to appreciate people, places and things. Those are your new belief systems. And so if you prepave your day, then you will find things working really, really well for you because you will have given your mind an instruction and your mind always listens to whatever it is that you, that you instruct it to do. 
and what I am going to do is I am going to share with you the pre-paving from the unlimited 40 day law of attraction workbook because it is so pertinent to your question and that pre-paving is dear God or universe thank you for a brand new opportunity to enjoy life I want my day to unfold with ease I want good things to come my way I want to remember to appreciate people, places, and things. I want to be good to myself and others. I want to end this day feeling happy and satisfied. I want to remember at all times that all things are possible. And so when you use this prayer or this pre-paving in your life, and you can use this not just in the morning to start your day, you can use it several times during the day. You will see your life changing because now your actions and your thoughts will be based on your new belief system. I am also going to reference a video for you up here to go and watch called Core Beliefs. Because the thing is, if you decide that you have a set of core beliefs that now these core beliefs are going to form the foundation of how you think your thoughts and you repeat those core beliefs to yourself on a regular daily basis. You remind yourself of your new belief system. Then, first of all, that is your new belief system. So you, what you'll really be doing is you will now be acting in accordance with the new beliefs. And because you'll be acting in accordance with your new core beliefs, your old beliefs will fade away. So just start where you are and go forward with new beliefs. Truly become a new you. And the momentum of the old you will subside and it will come to a stop. I've seen this happen myself in my own life. I've seen it happen for countless coaching clients. The past will come up from time to time. But that's okay. You will now have the, co the tools that you need. What are the tools? Pre-paving and your core beliefs. You'll have the tools so you know what to do. And because you know what to do, you don't have to be afraid. Remember that the universe is guiding you and what you need will show up for you whenever you need it. Remember that the universe wants you to succeed. Your success is certain. Believe it. And when you believe that your success is certain and that, and that the universe is helping you along your path, you don't have to be afraid. Remember that fear is low on the emotional scale. And Thoughts become things. So don't think in a manner that invites in stuff that you don't want. So I hope that this is helpful. Remember, nothing to be afraid of. Just start today. And as an exercise, here's what I recommend to you. Sit down and write out, script who you want to be tomorrow. Who do you want to wake up as? What are the beliefs of that person? How does that person interact with the world? How does that person interact with family members? How does that person interact with um, colleagues, with people in the community? How does that person behave? What are that person's habits? What are your new habits? Write it out. The process of scripting is really powerful because it will keep you in that vibration for a very long time. As long as it takes for you to write it. And you only ever need to spend 10 or 15 minutes in that vibration of the new you that you have already created. You've already created it. Now you just need to feel good about it instead of feeling afraid about it. All right, Sherry, I hope that this response helps you and I hope that it helps everyone else. I can tell you that I have done this exercise personally and the first time that I did it, within three months, my entire life changed. I woke up one day and I thought, 
Oh my God. <laughs> I wasn't watching, but look at me now. I am living the life that I wrote about. Every single detail as I scripted it. And the way to do it is to write it as if you're writing the story of one day that is already happening, already happening in your life. And when you do that, you will see that everything will change for you really, really quickly. Do it from a feeling place. So the key to making scripting work that maybe a lot of people don't tell you is that it's not about creating a story about about what you are doing. It's not just about the doing. It is also about the feeling. How are you feeling while you are doing? For example, when you script how you're waking up, talk about how you're feeling. It's not enough to say, I wake up at six and then I do my yoga or I go for a run. No, that's not scripting. That's, that's the wrong way to do it. The right way to do it is to say, it feels so good. I'm waking up in my bed. It is 6 a.m. I'm looking out of my window and it's so beautiful. I love looking out at the sky. The birds are already chirping. I can hear their sounds streaming in through my window. Mm, I feel so good. I'm looking forward to my day. It feels good to lay in my bed and prepave what I want my day to look like. And then just feel that feeling. Do your prepaving. Write out your prepaving and feel your feeling. So you see, people say script and everything that you write will come true, but they don't share that little tip with you. The thing that makes scripting work is to feel the actions that you're taking. Feel them now and then you will see it will come to pass. All right, Sherry and everyone else, I hope that you find this helpful and I look forward to seeing you in my next video. So if you enjoyed this and if you learned something new about scripting here today, please leave me a comment down below that says scripting works. Yes, scripting works. It surely does. All right, folks, thank you for visiting. Remember to like, remember to comment and subscribe. Bye for now.